All right, Acts chapter 6. This looks like a smaller chapter, only 15 verses. So, <clears throat> seven chosen to serve. Acts chapter 6, verse 1, And in those days, when the number of the disciples was multiplied, there arose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews, because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. Then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples unto them, and said, It is not reason that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men of honest report, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And the saying pleased the whole multitude, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Ghost, and Philip, and Prochorus, and Nisanor, and Timon, and Perminus, and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch. A lot of names that I don't see today, but whom they set before the apostles, and when they had they laid their hands on them, different laying on of hands uh, with the apostles and and these men and uh, then when you know the Sadducees laid their hands on them the apostles and the word of God increased and the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly and the great company of the priests were obedient to the faith and so we see in a lot of these chapters it keeps talking about more multitudes being saved and more multitudes being saved so I'm trying to understand what's being said here about, um, let's see here. We should serve God and not tables. So the twelve uh, disciples, or the apostles, um, wanted to do other businesses about, you know, preaching the word of God and spreading the gospel than, do, than doing, like, the earthly tasks, I guess. Um, or the specific tasks or whatever, they wanted to appoint these tasks to other people. So they said, you know, we're about, you know, we want to be about a different business. Uh, what were the Grecians murmuring against the Hebrews? Um, so I guess the Grecians mur murmuring against the Hebrews was, uh, these are people within the church, I'm guessing. You know, the, the disciples were multiplied, and there was a murmuring between those believers uh, because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. Um, so I'm trying to understand what that means. Does that mean that hmm, their widows were neglected in the daily ministration? There were just tasks that weren't getting done that with uh, maybe with the widows, with serving the widows, and and and, uh, and helping them. Uh, so whatever it was, there were tasks that weren't getting done or being overlooked, and so the apostles appointed men to to overlook it. And Stephen is seized, the second part of this chapter. And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. And there arose, a, arose certain of the synagogue, which is called the synagogue of the Libertines and the Cyrenians and the Alexandrians, and of them of Cilicia and of Asia, disputing with Stephen. And they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spake. Then they suburned men, which said, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and against God. And they stirred up the people, and the elders and the scribes came upon him, and caught him, and brought him to the council, and set up false witness, which said, This man ceaseth, ceaseth, ceaseth not to speak blasphemous words against the holy place in the law. For we have heard him say that this that Jesus of Nazareth shall destroy this place, and shall change the customs which Moses delivered us. 
And all that sat in the council, looking steadfastly on him, saw his face as if it had been the face of an angel. So basically this whole chapter, I think, is to set up some backstory on Stephen, because we're going to get into the stoning of Stephen in uh, Acts chapter 7, the next chapter. So just uh, some little interesting things here. It doesn't seem not as much as some of the previous chapters. Um, It's just high praise of Stephen. You know, he did miracles and wonders himself. He was appointed over these tasks. He's one of the men that the apostles appointed. And uh, he did great works, and uh, he caught notice of people who uh, opposed him. <clears throat> and, you know, it's, they said that he spoke blasphemous words against Moses and against God. And he said that Jesus would change the customs which Moses delivered us. So these Jews were still, you know, legally minded, trying to um, be saved by their works. And um, they didn't understand the, uh, you know, justification by faith. But uh, anyway, we're going to go into the stoning of Stephen, which is a very important chapter in Acts, and <clears throat> anyway, this is a very short, chapter 6, so only around 6 minutes going over it. God bless.